I tend to avoid the word excellence, um, but one word I like using is polish. And um, in coming in, you could see the polish. Uh, what's the point of going to a, a, a business school in North America and listening to life lessons of people who live in North America without the context of culture, without the context of country? And so for me, that was the attraction. I think that the way that you have structured your curriculum is excellent. And the fact that your case studies are local case studies of local businesses and also of the uh, delegates' business I think it's fantastic. So it's almost like a workshop where you're dissecting your business. After you know the modules you go through, you come up with a complete different business. I think so. The approach I think is is uh, very very practical, and I think that's so that you walk out of here. It's not just theories and you know nice things, but you're really working on the hard part of your business. I think that that's great. At least for those who want to have um, the Nigerian experience and to learn from the experience in the Nigerian environment, clearly. This is the place I will, um, I, I, I will recommend. Well, I, first off, I've had a fantastic experience. I really enjoyed uh, being with the group and, and, and talking with them. But I mean, I stand up every week in this country and talk about the need for a larger private sector, for an entrepreneurial group. I talk about the need for young people in this country to take control of the country and drive it forward because they're the future. There are a lot of opportunities in Nigeria are waiting to be addressed, but we don't have enough for entrepreneurs. So the academy would go a long way producing entrepreneurs who can um, help and nurse um, the potentials we have and ensure that Nigeria becomes truly an industrialized country. There's no doubt in my mind that this is something that is so fundamentally needed. A leadership academy such as this is begins to help us address are those issues around leadership. Forget about whether it is in business or elsewhere. I believe Nigeria, you know, the future of Nigeria belongs to all of us. Old, young, um, it belongs more to those who are young because that is where the future lies. As long as we'll continue to share our experiences with the youth, then we'll have continuity and we can build. It's the aggregation of successful entrepreneurs that will build this economy. Everything that people are doing in government is only to provide an enabling environment. This economy will be built and sustained by entrepreneurs. The fact of the matter is that many of us go to sit down to complain that the system doesn't work and the young people are in a hurry. That, but the fact of the matter is that we don't engage them. If you want to see economic growth in this country, we're going to have to move to see more entrepreneurs succeed. We need to see more businesses thrive beyond the first year or the second year or the third year. So for me it was a unique opportunity to come and do that. I love this sort of conversation because at, at the end of the day, you know, we're all striving to be better. We're all human beings that want to live a better life. And so conversations where we can share experiences and learnings and life lessons are always welcome. I believe that teaching is a part of sharing knowledge and sharing the knowledge to people who then use it to become better. No matter the experience, expertise you have, if it's not shared, it's wasted. You started this because you want to build institutions, you want to build entrepreneurs. Um, companies that 100 years from now we can look back and say, you know, this is what we were able to invest in. And I believe in, in joining you on that uh, journey. I truly believe that in Africa, um, we, we can do this stuff. We, we can create big businesses. We can become as successful as those who started Guinness, who started Toyota was studying Mitsubishi. I see the faces of the young professionals um, uh, who take the benefit of this program, which in my opinion is subsidized. Uh, if you look at the true value of what they're getting, the quality of faculty they're getting, the world-class facilities that they have here, um, they could easily be in any part of Europe. Going into the room, I love the setup. I love the openness of the people there. I felt that people were there to learn. I felt that the commitment was there from people and the sacrifice that has been there was very clear that this, this is a committed space for learning and I think everyone came to learn and I think to me if anyone gets the opportunity to come here they should come because I really enjoyed my experience. First class, uh, in line with international uh, standards, in line with best practice, the facilities, the ambience, it's just beautiful. When you looked at the question and answering session, you saw the quality of the questions questions that showed that we have people that had depth and more importantly we have people that had ambitions and people that I could learn from and I, I learned a few things myself in class today. Uh, it was a lovely experience thank you very much I really enjoyed them 
the conversation, the questions that were asked of me, some of the challenges as well. I think it's a great, um, uh, great academy and congratulations for leading it.